Hello guys, here's Programming to Inspire, welcome to the first part of the hockey series. Today we're going to be building this game in Java. Where you can score a goal and uh, here it counts how many goals each have. So, let's begin. First create a new Java project, call it hockey. In the source folder, create a new class, call it hockey. And put it in the package com.programming to inspire.hockey. This class will have a main method, so let's create a main method first. It will also extend canvas and implement implements runnable import those two classes and hover over hockey and add an implemented method run put this method above the main method now we're gonna create a few uh, uh, methods so first public void update update public void render and or uh, above the run method we're gonna have public void start and public void stop we also will have a constructor public hockey and a few variables so public int public static int uh, final int width is equal to 500 and height is equal to 800 public static float scale is equal to 1.0 that public static public just public thread thread public boolean running is equal to false public J frame frame public game game public static buffered image image is equal to new buffered image of width height and buffered image dot type underscore int underscore rgb and change this width to an uppercase and height to an uppercase letters uh, import all classes this should be thread and we are going to create this class in the dot game package this class will have a constructor public game and here we're going to call init method 
and create an init method public void init and create two more methods public void update and public void render we will also have a public void render text method and this will have a parameter of graphics graphics to the object and we're gonna call it g now go back to the hockey class and here we're gonna have a public static int array of pixels is equal to data buffer int so data buffer int from image dot get raster dot get data buffer dot get data in the, in the constructor create a uh, dimension dimension size is equal to new dimension and the parameters will be uh, width time scale casted to integer and height time scale casted to integer and set preferred size to size and frame is equal to new j frame this should be spelled like this and game is equal to new game now going to the start method here we're gonna create a new thread so thread is equal to new thread and inside uh, put this and loop thread uh, here create running is equal to true so our game our thread is running and thread dot start here call thread dot uh, join that will join our thread uh, and surround it with try and catch in the run uh, method we're gonna have few variables so last time this is going to be our game loop system dot system dot nano time uh, long timer is equal to system dot current time final double and s or nano seconds per update is equal to one followed by nine zeros point zero divided by sixty point zero double updates to perform is equal to zero uh, int frames is equal to zero int updates is equal to zero and request focus that will bring our different to the front while running we set this to true so it is going to uh, 
continuously run long uh, current time in nanoseconds is equal to system dot nano nano time and uh, updates updates to perform rename this to like this uh, plus equals uh, the difference of current time in nanoseconds minus last time that is also in nanoseconds divided by how many uh, nanoseconds is per update and uh, now while we have some updates to perform so update to perform is greater or equal to uh, 1 we're gonna update so call update and increment updates by 1 and de-increment uh, updates to perform so we have to perform one update less when we update once uh, now call render and uh, frames plus plus this is wrong render and here we're gonna check if system dot current time millis minus timer is greater than 1000 so every second we're gonna increment uh, timer by 1000 and uh, display to the frame uh, set title how did we call this it is frame so the title will be hockey uh, updates updates plus updates so we will see how many updates and uh, frames per second we have in the update we're gonna call game.update and in the render we're gonna create a buffer strategy buffer strategy bs is equal to get buffer strategy if bs is equal to now create buffer strategy with three buffers and return we have to return otherwise it won't work and call game dot render and now create a graphics to the object call it g uh, uh, cast to graphics to d from uh, bs dot get get draw graphics uh, now render the image g dot draw image and delete all the parameters here because we don't need that many image zero 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 uh, cast to integer integer from width times scale and the same with height and the last parameter is null for the image observer now uh, call game.render text so we are gonna render text over the image and g.dispose and bs.show to show our image now in the main method uh, create an instance of hockey class 
hockey h is equal to new hockey h dot uh, frame dot set resizable is equal to false h dot frame dot frame dot set title to hockey h dot frame dot set not set at uh, h h dot frame dot pack h dot frame dot pack h dot frame dot set default close operation j frame dot exit on close exit on close a dot frame dot set visible to true a dot frame dot set location relative to null a dot frame dot set always on top to true and now call a dot start this is our method this that will create our thread now let's check if it works first this is the method so it needs parentheses here we have to updates is equal to zero reset our updates and frames Here uh, current time in nanosec uh, last time last time is equal to current time in nanoseconds. And now it works. Here it should be updates. So let's check it out again. And it works. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.